Oh, hello, it's me, your curious neighborhood scientist. The other scientists are busy coming up with cool experiments for you to try. I'm reading this book about DNA so that I can come up with a cool experiment too. You might be wondering, what is DNA? DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA makes up all living things, including you and me. But what does DNA look like? Hmm. Oh, according to this book, when DNA is stretched out, it is about 2 meters long. That is so much taller than me! But they are twisted and coiled into tiny structures called chromosomes so that they can fit into the nucleus of a cell. And the nucleus itself is so small that 10,000 nuclei can fit onto the tip of a needle. Hmm, does this mean that there is no way we can see DNA with our naked eye? Oh, I think I might know a way. And this experiment is just in time for... Science O'Clock! Where do you think we can find DNA? Hmm, let's see what I have here. Look, I have a strawberry, but I don't think one is enough. Hmm. Two strawberries. So many strawberries. Aga, where's my strawberry? I want to make strawberry cheesecake. Shh. Here are the other materials we will need. A zipper storage bag, dishwashing liquid, half a cup of warm water, a measuring cup, a sieve, a teaspoon, a clear container, and rubbing alcohol. First, let's make a solution that will help us break open the cells and release DNA. Add 2 teaspoons of dishwashing liquid into your warm water. And stir. Why do we use dishwashing liquid? If you enjoy eating fried chicken with your hands, I'm sure you've had the problem of oily and greasy hands. And how do you remove the oil? That's right, by using soap. Similarly, we are using dishwashing liquid to break apart cell wall, cell membrane, and nuclear membrane, as these are made up of fats and oils. Then DNA will be released from the cells. Now, remove the stem and sepals from the strawberries. Next, put the strawberries in a zipper storage bag. Next, add 4 teaspoons of the dishwashing liquid mixture into the zipper storage bag. Push all the air out and close the zipper storage bag. And now for the fun part, let's mash it all up. Mash until it looks like a paste. Now filter your mixture by pouring it through a sieve and into your measuring cup. This will remove any large bits.
you may use a teaspoon to push the mixture through the sieve. Now pour this mixture into the clear container. Now, we will add some alcohol into the container. Carefully pour the alcohol against the side of the container. Let it flow down the side so that it forms a layer on top of the solution. Add about as much alcohol as the strawberry mixture. Wait for a few minutes and a white precipitate is formed. Can you believe it? We successfully extracted DNA from strawberries and we can see it with our naked eye. Want to learn more about DNA and genetics? With this Curious Geneticist Kit, you can. Click on the link in the description box to get your very own kit. In this kit, you will find materials to extract DNA from wheat germ, other hands-on activities, as well as educational videos. One last question before you go. If you could change your DNA, what genes or traits would you add or remove? Let us know in the comments down below and you will stand a chance to win a promo code to get 20% off our Curious Geneticist Kit. And if you are trying out this experiment, share with us your photos or videos of your stay-at-home experiments by tagging us over here. And that's all we have for you today on Science O'Clock. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay curious. Bye-bye!